Wow, you can see this is going to be quite an interesting thing. I've always wanted to be a hamburger. We are joined by the king of independent animation, Bill Plimpton himself, two-time Academy Award nominee. Thanks so much for joining us, Welcome Bill. Thank you for the here. wonderful introduction. I'm happy to be here. This is my fifth year here. Wow. I love it so much. I keep coming back, keep bringing more animated films. And it's going to be a great program. I've seen some of the films. It's great. We're very, we're very excited for the for the shorts program. Does your hand ever cramp up drawing? Uh, no. In fact, you know what? I'll do a drawing for you to right. show you how it never cramps up. I'm going to do a drawing from the cow who wanted to be a hamburger, and it goes something like this. Now, is this is the film or the process of making the film changed your attitude towards hamburgers? Uh, no, I love hamburgers. I've always loved hamburgers, and uh, it's but it, the film is good for both vegetarians or vegans, I should say and uh, uh, hamburger lovers, so there you go. Very cool. I'll yeah. put uh, Plum TV on oh, here. Nice. Very nice. Collector's item. Yes, yes. Bill, at this festival, uh, particularly it seems like the short, the, there's a, a lot of emphasis on shorts, which I feel like I never get to see them in a movie theater Thank anymore, you. let alone yeah, animated know. shorts. What's sort of the state of the industry and in, in having an animated short get in front of as many people as possible? Well, one thing I talk about when I do my show is that it is possible to make money doing short films. Uh, occasionally they do show shorts in theaters. Uh, also there's um, television. There's internet, there's DVD, uh, there's video on demand. So actually the, the, the market is expanding and I've found that I've made a good living doing short films. So if somebody tries to tell you you can't make money on shorts, it's wrong. Don't believe them. Now, no. when you were a boy, what did your mother say, what I assume was a lot of time spent drawing? Well, they, they said, yeah, it's okay, Bill, you can draw all you want, but be sure and get a college education because maybe you aren't going to make it as an artist. And I say, no, I want to be an artist. I want to be the greatest artist ever made, you know. And so uh, luckily it worked out that way. I didn't have to uh, become a teacher or an uh, engineer or something like that. Or a TV host, thank God. <laughs> no, no, you guys, that's you got the easy job. Hey, Bill, also, when you're drawing to scale, and I... I working like this are you able to visualize what it would look like projected and is it satisfying to see your work blown up 40 feet high well it is actually pretty cool I'm glad you, re you mentioned that because I use the sharpie to make the cow want to be a hamburger really? uh, which is t the lowest of low tech no right kidding. must be sponsored yeah. by sharpie yeah. Yeah, I should Hold be a more steady. <laughs> see, sharpie. Camera. there we go <laughs> <laughs> no uh, I don't think it's ever been done a sharpie uh, animated film before but it's been a big success and for uh, people who miss it, uh, a Saturday night at 9.30, it will be opening up in New York City at the IFC Center with oh, my feature film, uh, Idiots and Angels. Right, we want to mention Idiots and Angels. Thank you so much. I'll be there, sponsored by Terry Gilliam with music by Tom Waits. And, Pink and when is that going to take place? Uh, October, thank you for asking. October 6th at the IFC Center in New York City. I've got to repeat that. Presented by Terry Gilliam, music <laughs> by Tom Waits and Pink Martini. And drawn by one hand, Bill oh, Clinton. And a Sharpie. And a Sharpie. <laughs> and you also have some work in the advertising business. I do. Occasionally I do advertising. I used to do Geico spots and uh, I've done some music videos. I did Kanye West, Weird Al Yankovic, Madonna. So you, you show that that kid that you have at home who's oh, yes. drawing away. Let yes. your kids draw. Let them draw because one day. Support it. Yeah, so support fun. them. Yeah. Absolutely. So fun to meet you today. Well, so I'm really happy to be back here at Martha's Vineyard and hope to keep coming back. <laughs> Well, we're gonna, we'll, we'll keep inviting you. As long as you keep drawing and keep putting out great films, we'll, we'll make sure to keep having you back. And it's been great. We That's appreciate fantastic. it. And also, you know, it's you're an example to many young filmmakers who've seen in young animators. It's possible, and it's and, and they're really getting seen a lot and, more. And, so by the thanks. way, later in the show, we're going to meet two of your protégés, yes. twin animators. Yeah. So we're excited about that. So you'll be able to see this generation and what he's passing on to the next. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much.